Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to our virtual user group. Again, I'm Chris Garadini, as Brad said. Uh, Turnkey's been around for a little over 23 years now, and I'm still loving it, and it's still a great place to work. And uh, as he said, we've got a, we've got a great lineup. Uh, again, you kind of heard the intros, Diane, Bill, Rokas, Mike, Laura, a lot of people behind the scenes. Um, again, my goal here is just, you know, a little, little update on what we're doing and uh, how we're helping people. And this is just, I took some snapshots and some imagery that I'm going to share with you this morning, this afternoon. And uh, this is one that, that kind of is out there on collateral that we put out in terms of you know, who are we and, and, and what's going on and, you know, emphasis on business consulting and, and solutioning and, you know, defining outcomes and how to best process workloads and, you know, then again, even pre-implementation, those are all conversations and uh, through implementation, through integration, through customization, you know, the hosting, the managed IT services and, and through reporting and BI. So again, just one piece of imagery we're using on collateral, but as you kind of get a current understanding you know, one of the things I just want to restate is, you know, what's the summarized offering through the end of this year and into next year? And, uh, you know, this is really the, the product portfolio stack, but as we, as we make awareness to this team and the organization, the customers, the portfolio stack around Dynamics. And again, everybody knows Dynamics GP has been a, a great product. I've been around that, I bragged, for a little over 30 years, um, starting in the 80s. So uh, it's, it's endured time and it's still a rock star solution. And we're still actively selling it in both the cloud and on-premise and upgrades and extending. It's still a wonderful application. And, and the 365 Enterprise product, the AKA Dynamics AX, and you know, we've got GP customers looking at that as a, as a potential next target somewhere in the future. But, uh, you know, and then there's the business version, which is the, the Navision product that they've released into the cloud. And certainly the rebranding, that's the Dynamics 365 sales, service, marketing, field service. PSA is, you know, project service automation. Again, that's all in that cloud space as well. Um, Rebranded, you heard CRM, et cetera, but it really is a, a very, very diverse set of applications. And, and talent is another one that shows up out there now where as you look at, you know, personnel management, recruiting and driving, you know, from, from onboarding and recruiting all the way through human capital management. Um, again, those are all in our stack. We represent that entire stack. Certainly the industry partners are, are diverse. There's probably 50 companies that we're out, you know, supporting line of business solutions with, whether it's a rental service, uh, supply chain, you know, deeper demand planning and supply chain integration, corporate performance management. Again, many people have, have taken to Profix as a, as a great platform. We're repping there and there's a lot more. Um, certainly the turnkey private cloud. Uh, that's really dedicated to GP hosting. That's been a very strong offering uh, because of just the, the guarantees that we put behind that. And then the Microsoft Cloud Stack, where again, Awareness, Azure, Office 365, Power BI, SharePoint. Um, and then I had to throw in the coming soon Salesforce and Intact. And again, this is us trying to stay competitive as we look at, you know, what's the offering the customers are aligning to and, you know, and where's the demand in the market. And so this is a, a little departure from the traditional all Microsoft Dynamics, but I, we think that it's appropriate as we continue to, to expand our organization. And as we think about, you know, CRM and sales and service, it's, it's again, it's like an agnostic consultation that we start with and in terms of selecting what's the best solution and where do we end up, uh, again, just kind of updating. Um, and, you know, this next part, Justin, I've got, they only gave me 10 minutes, so I could talk a long time, but it's really sharing how we help customers in 2017 and just some selected stories where, sure, moving GP to the cloud and upgrading as we migrate, um, you know, we have a relationship manager model. Um, everybody has one, and, and these individuals are consultants in our staff, and, you know, they want to come visit and bring you donuts or have lunch and talk about solution roadmaps or do visioning sessions. So if you, you haven't connected with somebody and you'd like to, and, and again, part of that is a no-cost visit. So that's me as the owner pushing that engagement with our customers. Um, managed services, relatively new offering as we're expanding that. Again, as we look at, you know, managing servers, applications, administration, support, that all comes, on, you know, we run a data center. And we've done a very, very good job of managing um, how we deploy that and service that. Um, integrations, big stuff for turnkey, you know, whether it's GP or Dynamics 365. Um, Customer service, you know, um, has, has been a big win as you look at, you know, everybody needs customer service. And what does that mean? It's the, the vision of the customer and the engagement and trapping those requests and even portals, you know, and, and uh, so that's a, I've got a little look at that and uh, we're, we're releasing that out to our customer base as well. But we think that's a big offering um, and we want to help customers do that for their customers. So support at turnkeytech.com, we've consolidated support addresses. Uh, I think that should be live at this point. I'm not sure if that was going to be said today or not, but uh, I'm the owner, so I guess I can say 
wherever I want. Uh, so um, then again, migrations, Office 365 migrations, that's been a big area as we come in and as your Microsoft provider really picking up and connecting that, you know, that single vendor relationship. You know, I started with Turnkey 23 years ago because that was my view of let's simplify, you know, and let me deal with, you know, A to B to Z. Um, and we're doing that today. And uh, Power BI dashboards, um, SharePoint, <clears throat> certainly mobility. IoT, again, connecting, connecting different types of things. We've got projects we're talking about connecting telemetry on equipment in the field to, to drive, you know, you know, actions. And that's really, a, uh, I think Rokas will talk more about that. And I mentioned Profix. So, um, so some visuals. Um, let's see if my slide deck will click forward. Yes, this is the Office 365 world. If you don't live in that, that's me. That's my login. Um, and everything's there and everything's connected and I can put other applications there and certainly Dynamics 365 is there. But this could be a unified experience for your users and certainly not everybody gets all tiles. Again, I'm, I'm an owner and admin so I got a lot of good stuff going on there. But uh, great experience. Um, you know, this is the, PI, the Power BI Anywhere and again, as we look at, you know, how do we want to interact with our data and, and, and we're doing a lot of this stuff and we've just brought on more personnel with more experience in, in delivering these, whether it's, you know, sales data, customer data, you know, project data. Um, let me go back to that one. So customer project data. And, and again, I can experience this from a Power BI desktop and whether you know it or not, I can share this with somebody and they don't have to pay anything to consume this information. So, you know, even customers, you want to share data with your customer on his performance, a vendor, um, a lot of, again, and the other thing is it can be embedded. I can have it on a phone, a tablet, a desktop, and a browser. I mean, where do you want to consume this? Who do you want to share it with? And so there's some real unique advantages um, to sharing the content through the Office 365 world. And so if you haven't experienced that, you know, I can stand up a SharePoint site for a project and invite people and same thing. You don't have to have a license to be able to collaborate um, through my platform if, if that's how I'm. This is a, a little different. I call it a mixed mode dashboard. This is one of Rokas's things. But if you think about being able to see some data, have indicators, and these are click through. And this isn't live, but if I clicked on them, I can drive right down through an interactive display and certainly these are workloads over here on the right and this is a this is all personalized you know what's my role what's my job who am I and let's let's deliver those personalized workloads um, I do a lot of visios so I'm the guy writing solution models and trying to vision things and this is a great one because it really shows a use of um, and it's Dynamics 365 but it's the cloud stack where we're using you know an integration tool we're using CRM replacing Salesforce in this case um, and then we're using field service, and again, we're re retiring applications for this customer as we replace functionality. We're integrating data from their telemetry system. We're creating service calls. Again, we're using the Office 365 stack. So, so we render these. This is a, a great solution model. It's very recent, uh, done. Here's another one we call this as a, a jump start, and um, Rokas will talk about that, where we've got a drop in where all the data just kind of flows from GP to the Microsoft Cloud Stack. So this is another one where, you know, we've got drop-in Power BI, drop-in sales and service components where it really can flow two ways between GP pretty much out of the box. And uh, again, as you look at these, these are examples that I can I can do for your company or we can adjust it and, and it's visioning. It's like, where are we at? How do we share? How do we collaborate with our customers and our employees? How big is the audience? How do we share reporting experiences, whether that's through the portal as well? Again, how are we communicating with our workers? In this case, this was a big, a big labor force. I'm trying to do time and expense against projects and really pull all that data together where, you know, it's efficient. Um, another big integration diagram, got lots of these. But the last comment, and I, and I did get this from one of my wonderful personnel, but the, the customer portal. And so this is the vision of what we're releasing out to our customers, and it's a click-through. But really, this is customer-facing where you'll have a place to log in. Um, you'll sign in. You'll see a login on our website. Again, what's this mean? You can manage your support cases. You can manage projects. We're putting a lot of neat stuff in here. So customer self-service, opening cases, and uh, this has been asked for for a long time. Um, and again, even you can see projects, you can see budgets. So there's going to be a lot of transparency um, through this portal. I just wanted to give you a quick flash presentation. Look for more to come on that. Thank you.